In this video, I will show you how to distinguish between Ta Marbuta and Ha. I did a lot of videos on Ta Marbuta and Ha. If you go back to playlist 101 level, you will see a lot of videos on that. But this is another video. It helps you to distinguish between Ta Marbuta and Ha. Let's get started. If you remember, Tamarbuta has only two shapes because Tamarbuta we see it only at the end of the word. This is if it's connected at the end, this is if it's not connected at the end. Something you have to know about Tamarbuta. First of all, Tamarbuta it's a feminine marker. It's always at the end of the word and when you see it, you can tell this noun is feminine. So it's at the end of the word and indicate this noun is feminine. So when I say sayara, sayara is a car, car is feminine. So Arabic language gender is so important. So this is one of the ways that you can distinguish between feminine and masculine when you see tamarbuta at the end of the word. Tamarbuta derived from the letter ta. So tamarbuta, you cannot see it part of the 28 alphabet because it is already there. It was the letter ta. So it means ta marbuta, it means tied ta. That this letter was ta, we tied this letter to make it a feminine marker. We have two dots for ta marbuta. It's always at the end of the words. We pronounce it as ha as long as we have one noun. When I say sayara, you pronounce it as ha sound at the end. You can add or remove tamarbuta in all the adjectives, professions, number, but you cannot add tamarbuta to the objects. Like if you have the word kitab, book. Book is masculine and it remains masculine. So we have some rules when you can add or when you can remove tamarbuta. And I have covered all these rules in my previous videos under 101 level playlist. Now let's talk about ha. So ha has four shapes. Why? Because ha it's part of the 28 alphabet. Ta marbuta derived from ta. But ha it's part of the 28 alphabet. So ha you can see it in the beginning of the word, you can see it in the middle, you can see it at the end, connected, not connected. We use it for his or its. When I say bait to who, his house, it's ha, it's not tamarbuta. This is one of the ways you can distinguish, but later on I will show you more. Ha again has four shapes because it's part of the 28 alphabets. Does not have two dots. It's always at the end of the word. No, it's not always at the end of the word. What's what's always at the end of the word? Tamarbuta. But ha, no, ha has four shapes. So you have to remember. Ha it's not always at the end of the words. Pronounced as ha. Make some simple examples on ha and tamarbuta before I move on with more rules. Tamarbuta. If I say haqiba, haqiba, it's a feminine noun and it remains feminine. Can I make haqiba masculine? The answer is no, because haqiba, it's not an adjective, it's not a profession, it's not a number. So haqiba, it's a feminine noun, and it remains feminine. So you have to add two dots, it's a tamarbuta. You have to respect tamarbuta by adding two dots. Tawila, it's a feminine noun, it remains feminine. You cannot make tawila masculine. Zawja, it's a feminine noun. Ghurfa, it's a feminine noun. Anytime it's a feminine noun, that means ta marbuta. That means we need two dots at the end. 
Sayara, again, Sayara, it's also a feminine noun. You cannot make Sayara masculine because Sayara, it's not one of these. Let's move on to Ha. Remember what I said about Ha? Anytime you see it his or its for possessions, it's always Ha. Haqibatuhu. Tawilatuhu. Zawjatuhu. Ghurfatuhu. So be careful when you write Tamarbuta and Ha. It's very important to distinguish between both. And Siyaratuhu. So if you write Siyaratuhu with two dots, that's a big mistake. If you write Siyara without dots, it's a big mistake. It's very important in this video to keep watching it so you can distinguish between Ha and Tamar Buddha. Again, I'm still in the easiest way, the easiest way to distinguish between Tamar Buddha and Ha. More rules are coming. For 101 level, if you go back to 101 level playlist, you will see this video was kind of introduction to Tamar Buta. I was trying to help students to distinguish between Tamar Buta and Ha by following very simple three rules. But as I said in this video later on, I will add more rules. I will, I will just go over it real quick. The three rules about Tamar Buta, you can add or remove Tamar Buta if the noun is an adjective or a number or profession. What does that mean? That means you can make the noun one time masculine, one time feminine by adding or removing Tamar Buddha. The word Jamil, if I think about the word of Jamil, I will say Jamil, it's an adjective, then check, you can make Jamil one time masculine, one time feminine. If I see the word Qareeb, Qareeb check, it's an adjective. You can make it one time masculine, one time feminine. Tawil, again, you can make it one time masculine, one time feminine. I'm still using rule number one. Qasir, check, you can make it one time masculine, one time feminine. Ustad, profession, it's rule number three. Then, I can say Ustad, I can say Ustada. So we can add or remove Tamar Buta. Doctor, check. Rule number three, profession. Doctor, Doctora. We can make it one time masculine, one time feminine. Wahad. Rule number two, number. You can say Wahad, you can say Wahida. Now, if I have the word kitab, kitab is a book. I will think about kitab. Kitab is masculine. There's no tamar buta at the end. So can I make kitab feminine? Before I say yes or no, I have to follow the three rules. Kitab is not an adjective. Kitab is not a number. Kitab is not a profession. Then kitab is a masculine and it remains masculine. You cannot make kitab feminine. Bab. Again, Bab is masculine, it's not an adjective, it's not a number, it's not a profession. So Bab is, an, is a masculine noun, it remains masculine. You cannot say, I want to make Bab feminine, like the word Tawil. Why? Tawil has one of the rules, it's an adjective. Bab is not, it's not one of them. That's why Bab remains masculine noun. In Arabic language, gender is so important. You have to find the ways. We have to find the ways to distinguish between masculine and feminine. This is very important to learn. You have to know when you can add or when you can remove Tamar Buta. You have to know when you see Tamar Buta at the end that indicates this noun is feminine. Hatif. Think of Hatif. Is Hatif one of these? Adjective, number, profession? If the answer is no, then Hatif is a masculine noun. You cannot make Hatif feminine. 
Let's see tawila. Tawila, it's a feminine noun. Can I make tawila masculine? Question mark. Can we? What do you think? Ask yourself three questions. If the answer is no, that means no. If tawila is not an adjective, it's not a number, it's not a profession, then tawila is feminine noun. It remains feminine. This is what I have covered in 101 level. The easiest way to distinguish between tamarbuta and ha and when you can add or remove tamarbuta. Now let's see more rules. Adding this video because I still see my students struggling with tamarbuta and ha. So it takes time sometimes to know because sometimes you know Tamar Buta, for example, Medina, or you know Medina is a city, city is feminine, you know Siyara, it's feminine, you know Jamia, it's feminine noun, and all these are Tamar Buta. And with time, you know also that anytime his, it's ma it's ha, it's not Tamar Buta, Kitabuhu, Baytuhu. But it's still sometimes a lot of students struggling between Tamar Buta and ha. I see my student writing big paragraphs, all the tamarbuta switched to ha, all ha switched to tamarbuta. So that's why I'm adding this video, and it's a little bit advanced than 101 level. So let's get started with more rules, more ways you can tell, and you can distinguish and teach yourself when it's tamarbuta and when it's ha. So let's move more. Three rules that I have mentioned sometimes are not enough. We need to know more about Tamar Buta and how. We have about four or five rules or ways, let's say ways, you can distinguish between Ha and Tamar Buta. I will introduce all of them to you. Then you decide which one you want to use, which one you feel it's more comfortable for you, which one you feel it's easier for me to use. You don't have to follow five rules. Just pick one and stick with it. The first one, you add alif lam to the second noun or proper name and pronounce it. If you say Madinat al qahira you don't say Medina al qahira The correct way to pronounce it, Medina al qahira Then, this is Tamar Buta. So you add Alif Lam to the second noun. This is the second noun. Or, the second noun could be a proper name. Alif Lam. Ghurfat al-Saf. You don't say Ghurfa al-Saf. We should say Ghurfa al-Saf, that has no meaning. The way you pronounce it, Ghurfat Asaf, the classroom. Proper name, Medinat Chicago. I don't say Medina Chicago. You never say Medina Chicago. This is a wrong way to pronounce it. Medinat Chicago is the right way to pronounce it. So if you are familiar, if you are a little bit advanced in Arabic, then you can tell it's Ha or Tamar Buta if you follow rule number one. This is another rule, and it's easier maybe than rule number one. Add tanween. Tanween, it could be two fathas, two dhammas, two kasra. The word mia, you're not sure mia, it's ha or tamar buta. You add tanween. Mia hon, mia han. It's wrong to say miyahaton. Miyahaton with tamarbuta, it's not a word in the Arabic language. So the, the correct way to say it is miyah. Add tanween. Two dhammas miyahon. Miyahan. That's the right way to pronounce it. Then it's ha, it's not tamarbuta. Let's see the word medina. Medinatan. You don't say medinahan. It's not medinaha, it's medina. It's Medina Tan. Or if you say Medina Ton, you add Tanween to Dhammes. Or if you say Medina Tin, you still pronounce it Ta. But this one, 
miyah. The word is miyah. You cannot say miyahaton. You cannot add ta sound. So the second you cannot hear the ta sound, it's ha. But here Medina, you cannot say, for Medina, you cannot say Medina ha, Medina ta han, Medina lahon. It's Medina tan, Medina ton, Medina ten. So you have to pronounce, you hear it. But here, you do not hear it. Because the word is miyah. You cannot say miyahaton. Miyahaton, it's not a word. So if you don't hear ta sound, that means the noun is ha. It's not ta marbuta. Another way. Miyahi. Do you see Anita here? You don't. Medina T. Then Medina is feminine. Because you can hear ta sound with rule number three. Siyara T. Then Siyara is feminine. When you add T, then you can tell Siyara is feminine. It's ta marbuta. It's not ha like number one. Another way, add dhamme. Wajh, wajhu. Wajh is face. You, if you add dhamme and you pronounce it, you cannot say wajha tu. This is wrong. This is the right word. You cannot say wajha tu. It's wajhun, wajhu. So wajh, it's ha, it's not ta marbuta. Wajha tu, it's not any noun in Arabic language. It has no meaning. But wajh, it does have meaning. It's wajh, it's a face. Let's add dhamme for car. Sayara. So which one is right? Sayara who? Or Sayara to? There is no Sayara who in the Arabic language. There is Sayara to in the Arabic language. So sometimes you have to pronounce. That's why this video is a little bit advanced than 101 level. If you already know these videos and you pronounce it, you add tanween or you add dhamme to the noun and you pronounce ta, then it's ta marbuta. But if you don't pronounce ta, then it's ha. So sayara, it's the correct one. Also, you can go back to 101. You can see, oh, it's the one, the noun is an adjective, profession, numbers, and we have more like some of the animals. All of them means ta marbuta. Some of the animals, not all the animals. So again, in this case, you have to follow one of the rules at least. If you like number one, go with number one. If you like to add tanween, when you say miyaha hutan, miyaha then keep playing with the word. If you hear yourself pronouncing ta, then it's ta marbuta. But if you think ta marbuta does not sound right, then it's ha. You cannot say miyahatu. It's not miyahatu, it's miyah. But it's right to say medina ton. Then when you hear yourself saying ta, it's ta marbuta. If you don't hear it, then it's ha. Like wajh, wajhu. You cannot say wajhatu. Wajhatu, it's not any noun in Arabic language that pronounce wajhatu. We have wajh, face. So keep practicing, keep pronouncing the word. If you hear yourself saying ta with dhamme or with tanween, then it's ta, it's ta marbuta. Let's do more practicing. What I want you to do here, I made some spelling mistakes between ha and tamarbuta. I want you to stop the video and decide if I made mistakes or if I did not. For example, pick tawila and think is tawila tamarbuta or it's tawila ha. Pick one of the five rules. The easiest one, adding dhamme. You say tawila chu. Or tawilahu, which one is right? Think about the pronunciation and think about ta. 
The second you hear ta when you pronounce, then it's ta marbuta. The second you say tawila tu, then I'm missing here two dots. Then you have to correct my mistakes. But if you think the noun is correct, then check and move on and finish the rest of them. Please stop the video right now and try to test yourself. Try to follow one of the five rules. As I said, the easiest one is just adding dhamma and pronounce. You hear ta, then it's ta marbuta. You don't hear it, then it's ha. Let's work together on the correct answers. Okay, let's see. We have the word haya. Haya is life. Let's follow one of the five rules I mentioned. If I say, let's say my life, hayati, hayati, then is it tamarbuta or ha? Just pronounce it and you can tell hayati. Or let's add dhamme, hayatu, hayatu, then it's tamarbuta. Then I'm missing two dots here, which is for tamarbuta. So haya. It's ta marbuta. Let's check tawila. Tawila. Let's add dhamme. Tawila tu. Or let's make it my table. Tawila ti. Then the second you hear yourself saying or pronouncing ta, then it's ta marbuta. Let's check gurfa. Gurfa. Let's add dhamme. Gurfa tu. Let's make it my room. Gurfa T. You still hear ta sound. Anytime you hear ta sound, it's ta marbuta. Okay. Let's check this one. Siyara tuhu. His car. Siyara tuhu. Let's pronounce it. Siyara tuhu. Did I say siyara tu tuhu? No, I said siyara tuhu, siyara tuhu. So this one is ha or ta marbuta? What do you think? Siyara tuhu, his car. And if you want to follow the rules, anytime his, you take off two dots because it's ha, it's not ta marbuta. Let's check jamila. Let's add dhamme, jamila tu, jamila tu. Are you pronouncing ta? Yes. If you don't want to pronounce, you want to follow the adjectives, all the adjectives. If you see ta marbuta at the end, it's ta marbuta. No way any adjectives. You can see it with ha. No way. All the adjectives are ta marbuta if they are feminine. Jamia. Let's check jamia. Jamia is university. Let's pronounce it with dhamma. Jamia tu. Let's do it my, my university, Jamia T. So this one is feminine noun or what? Is it Tamarbuta or what? The answer is check. There is no spelling mistake here. Let's check this one. Ghurfatuhu, his room. Ghurfatuhu. Did you hear any Tamarbuta at the end? Ghurfatuhu, his room. Ghurfatuhu. So this one also is correct. Let's see Sayara. Sayara tu. Sayara T. So again, you have five rules. Pick whatever you want. The easiest way, you add dhamma, you pronounce. If you hear ta, it's ta marbuta. If you don't hear it, it's ha. Or just make it my. But the easiest way, all the students like it, when you add dhamma and you pronounce it. If you can pronounce it, if you can hear ta, it's ta marbuta. If you cannot hear it, then it's ha. Kulia, college. Kulia tu. Then, two dhammas. Uh, sorry, two dots. If I want to add another noun, let's follow rule number one. If I say kulia tu al ulum, the college of science, then I'm still pronouncing ta. Kulia tu al ulum, the college of science. I did not say kulia al ulum. It's kuliyat al ulum. This is another way to follow, which is rule number one. Or again, the easiest way, just add dhamme and pronounce it. 
Let's see this one. Hakiba bag. Hakiba two. Then missing two dots. It's feminine noun. Kalamuhu. Did you hear Anita sound at the end? Kalamuhu. No. So we have a mistake here. We have to take off. Tamarbuta because this is not Tamarbuta. It's a ha. Kalamuhu. His pen. His pencil. Kalamuhu. Let's see this one. Ustada. Teacher. Ustada chu. Ustada chi. This one check. Again, when you hear ta, it's tamarbuta. Let's check this one. Ustada chu hu. Ustada chu hu. This is right or wrong? Ustada chu hu. His female teacher. His. Anytime it's his, it's ha not tamarbuta. Tawila. Tawila, it's an adjective right away. Don't think about it. It's tamarbuta. So I hope after this you don't make mistakes between tamarbuta and ha. Go back and listen to this video again, especially the five rules. These are very important. And keep practicing. So this is the final correct answers. Please keep practicing. Go over the five rules. These rules are so important. Try to keep practicing, especially adamme pronounce. If you hear yourself saying ta, then it's tamarbuta. If you don't hear ta, then it's ha.